Hey everyone, this is Jason Pecor with Alorium Technology, and this video is going to demonstrate some of the cool new features and support options that we've added for our Accelerate board that we've folded right into the Arduino IDE. Now, first and foremost, a quick reminder that for our board, for the Accelerate board, you don't actually have to do anything special. You can just treat it like a regular Arduino Uno. So we're sitting here with the Arduino IDE open. We can select Arduino Uno. We've got the serial port collect selected, and we can just go ahead and make sure this compiles it should it's the standard blink example from the library and then we'll go ahead and upload that to the board and that's going to upload just fine and then what you can't see is down here to my right the led is happily blinking away on one of our accelerate boards and so great that works super but what we want to be able to do is we actually want to be able to set arduino to know that we're connected to an accelerate board because there's a few other options that you can do and some things you can get by doing that so First of all, we need to go off and create or enter the path to get our board support packages. So we're going to go do that right now. So in order to do that, we're going to go up here to the preferences and we want to add our URL to the additional boards manager URLs. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paste this in here. Now I've already got this copied and what I'm going to do is I'll make sure that you can get this full path so you know what to enter in here. Now that's added, we're going to hit OK. And we go over here to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. I'm going to search on our board. There we go. Click Install. And installation complete. Super. All right, now when we go up here to our board, we should be able to scroll down. Sure enough, here it is. Accelerate Rev2. That is the most recent version of our board, so we'll click on that. Now, when you, once you've done that, it actually adds a couple of other things that we can do, which is kind of neat. So first of all, um, well, first, let's make sure that this actually works. So now we've got it selected as that board. Let's go ahead and upload again. Everything should work just fine. So, yep, go through, no errors. That all looks good. So now there's this new option you can select, FPGA image. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to update the FPGA image that's sitting on the board. And so you come over here, we can look at the options that are available. This is the default, 16 megahertz, floating point, XB, that's running on there. And then you can run that also at 32 megahertz, so that'll run the microcontroller at 32. And then 16 megahertz with floating point, servo control, and our NeoPixel accelerator blocks. And then again at 32. And then these two prototype options, this was for the first revision of our board. So that was the, the original Rev1 board that we had. And then finally, this 16 megahertz image zero. This is essentially kind of the fail-safe upload. So if something really goes awry, you know, we can upload to this version and kind of allows us to you know, rebuild. Most of the time, you're probably not going to need to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload this to run as a 32 megahertz core. So we're going to select that. And then we got to go and actually do burn bootloader. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And down here it says burning bootloader to I.O. board. This may take a minute. Let's see what we got. All right. So it looks like everything worked out just dandy. Let's see. Programmed, complete, verify, complete. All these checks worked. Looks like we're in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do another update. Oh, I guess we don't have to change anything there. I'm just going to go do another update of the Blink program, make sure that works. All right. Hey, so there we go. So we were able to, using the tools menu in the FPGA image, we are able to select a higher frequency with the floating point and go ahead and upload that. Before we continue, I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the FPGA image 16 megahertz and with the floating point servo and NeoPixel on it, I'm going to actually go back and, and reflash the FPGA. All right. We are done. So programming complete. Looks like everything worked. All right then. So here's what we're going to do. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just re-upload the blink here for in terms of a sketch, make sure everything's working, which it looks like it was. Okay, great. So now what I want to show you is an interesting library that we've released at this time as well. It's called Accelerate Get Info or Accelerate Info, I guess. And we've got a small example that we can run to show you what that does. So I'll go down here to accelerate info, get accelerate version, that's what it's called. And essentially all of this will do is when we run it, it'll 
kick back some information to the serial output on the board that we've got. So we'll go ahead and run that and upload it. And of course you could use this accelerate info library in your sketches or, or wherever, just if you are making changes, you could dump out what version of the hardware you're running and what's running on it. So when we run that, we can see it dumps out, here's the version number, some ID information, and just some other info about what's loaded onto the device. So that is the Accelerate Info Library and just a simple sample sketch, get Accelerate version. So that is it for this video, just a very quick demonstration of some of the features that come along with the Accelerate board when you go out and download our library. So let's talk about where that is real quick. So we'll go ahead and bring up our GitHub page. So we do have a GitHub page out here at Alorium Technology. So it's just github.com, Alorium Technology. And from there, you can scroll down. You can see the libraries that are available, the Accelerate Info, which is the one we just talked about, Accelerate Servo, Float, and NeoPixel. And then we can go ahead and click here for support for our boards. And right now you can go and if you're familiar with doing this with Arduino, this is where I got that URL from that we added in the preferences. So just go ahead and copy that. There's a, some information here in terms of the readme file. That's it. Hopefully this helps and we look forward to getting this thing in your hands and giving people the opportunity to tinker around with it very soon. And as always, if you have any questions, head on over to loriumtech.com. You can go to our FAQ page and ask your question or send an email to info at Thanks again.